<laughs> All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with my good buddy Dotto. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is round two of the dino video. Uh, I filmed an entire video last Saturday. It was epic. My dad was there. A bunch of people stopped by. And uh, my GoPro media mod stopped working after the second clip. So I had an entire video that was completely and utterly worthless. And I was heartbroken, but I got over it. So uh, now we're heading back out. Luckily, we're getting beautiful weather in the middle of, well, at the beginning of November in central Pennsylvania, which is unheard of. It's like 70 degrees right now. So uh, I'm using my good GoPro, well, my better GoPro, which is a Hero 8. So hopefully you can hear some of this audio. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna ride over to Yamaha of Camp Hill. We're gonna put the M1000 double R on the dyno and uh, find out how much power it makes. So stay tuned. Jesus Christ, dude, just basically this is gonna be our dyno after all of the performance mods. So that's the full titanium exhaust, the uh, M Stage 2, sorry, the Bren Tuning Stage 2 Flash, the Bren Tuning uh, Velocity Sacks, the Bren Tuning Flapper Delete, the Bren Tuning uh, Air Temp Sensor Relocation, and the Sprint High Flow Filter. So um, it's going to be really interesting in stock form. It did one, what did it do? 182 in stock form. We also did pulls in uh, second and third gear because that's where those really big uh, dead spots were. And uh, I can tell you from experience riding this bike that those are completely gone. So um, yeah, we'll go over, we'll throw it on the dyno. I'm really, really excited to see what she does. So Dotto's on my Lamborghini Diablo 1260. Absolutely gorgeous bike. It's probably going to be the last ride of the year for that one. Um, and don't forget guys, this BMW M1000 RR is going to be fully customized and we're going to give it away when we're done. So patreon.com slash customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Huge shout out to Bren Tuning for sending out all of these performance mods. And of course, Moto Million for sponsoring our builds. We couldn't do it without those guys. So please support our sponsors and um, let's get over to the dyno. All right, we made it down here to Yamaha of Camp Hill. And uh, JR is getting it set up on the dyno for us. They're actually closed today, so it's really nice that they let us come down here and do this. Um, they're transferring over their whole system to, over to the Warhorse system, which is the group that bought this um, uh, dealership. So, um, yeah, they're actually also owned Ducati New York City, who I'm getting my Lamborghini Street Fighter through, so I know the owner, which is super cool. Um, but, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys we're in Race Pro Mode 1. We have everything turned off, tracks controls off, really controls off. Uh, it's on the highest power setting, so it should be all good to go. And um, we're just gonna let him set this bike up and then we'll get straight into the dyno pulls. All right, so before things get crazy loud in here, remember it did 182 stock. Wanna do guesses? Well, I guess we kind of know. Yeah, I think, I think it's What was gonna, your original guess? I guess 205. I guess 200. I don't think it's gonna make that. Yeah. I think it's gonna make like, 195, yeah. maybe, if well, we're lucky, 192. Every dyno is different. It should be making around 200 based on the brand stats, so we know roughly what it's no, supposed to do. No, it's, right? it's, it's, it should be 200. The E85 brand tune was like 210 or oh, something. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So, all right, let's see what happens.
that was freaking insane. So obviously we did fourth gear pulls for total horsepower. And then um, we did a second gear pull and a third gear pull to get the, the changes in those gears. And then he just went through the gears right there, just going through using a quick shifter, full throttle. And it was just shooting massive flames out the back. The last time we were here at the very end, it did that one last pop in this video. But in the last video, the last time we were here, it did like a full on flamethrower for like probably two seconds. Uh, didn't do it this time. I might try it one more time, but uh, that one I'll film for Instagram. All right, well, it's officially broken in now. Look at the colors on this thing. And they just get better and better and better. That's that's my favorite right there. I also like the deep purples. And then you can see the really light blues. That's like the hot, hot, hot area. And you can see even in there, that's like almost clear, which is crazy, but damn, that looks absolutely ridiculous. So let's go inside and we'll take a look at the numbers. All right, so after we're all high off uh, gasoline fumes, let's take a look at these uh, graphs. So um, the nice looking curve is the new number right here, which it did 191.46, which I'm just gonna round up to 192 for ease of comparison. 182 was stock. And the important part is obviously it picked up power pretty much everywhere, even at the top end, at the bottom, everywhere. But right here is where it really matters because this was the flat spot we were feeling on the bike in every single gear. And we'll take a look at second gear next. But that's 75 horsepower, right, at this RPM on the stock tune. Now you're at 105 horsepower. That's a 30 horsepower difference just right there. So that is massive. And that's what makes the bike a lot more fun on the road. Now, again, we were talking, I think that if Bren wanted to lean this tune out a little bit, probably easily pick up another eight to 10 horsepower, which is gonna put it in that 200 range, which is what they claim. Um, but I kind of like it being a healthy tune and then you get flames all over the place and it's just super fun and it's just a healthier for the bike. So um, let's next pull up second gear and you guys can see the difference in that. All right, so this is second gear and this is where <laughs> things get very interesting because Stock, this is what happens. Remember when I said we twist the throttle and nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then all the power comes on? Okay, well that, all the power comes on around 8,000 RPM. So we know this is like six to eight right here. This is 50 horsepower, okay? If we go up to where the new tune is, that's 110. That's 70 horsepower difference in the mid range on the street where you're gonna use it. That's absolutely insane. And you're gonna see something similar in third gear, probably be like, 50 and then you saw in fourth gear it was 30. Um, so that is absolutely incredible. So uh, love the tune, Bren crushed it. And um, now I need to go. Uh, They're gonna be tuning Elon's rocket <laughs> soon. <laughs> Dude, seriously, that is freaking epic guys. Great job. All right, I wanted to show some bikes they have here. These are all sold. KTM dirt bike. This is a R7. This is what you have, right? Yep. Even R7? Yeah. Uh, oh, ah, damn. Actually, that's a sick paint scheme on the R7. Yeah. Wow, black with like a t like a baby blue. That's similar to like my uh, R8, but that's a little lighter of a blue shade. That's beautiful. Another KTM. Ooh, somebody bought this Triumph Street Cup. That's nasty. Look I love that. the seats. Me too, dude. They do such a good job. So I'm showing you bikes that aren't for sale, but let's take a look at some things that are for sale, like that massive side by side. Holy hell! We got some four wheelers. This is what Teener Wieners needs right here to take out the uh, deer feed, one of these bad boys. Maybe I'll surprise her with one. And then they still have the Street Triple R. This thing's badass. Somebody needs to come down here and buy this. Yamaha of Camp Hill, which will soon be Warhorse. Look at that, Dotto, Dotto. We need to ride one of these, dude. The Triumph Rocket. That's what competes with the Diablo and the XDL. That thing could probably like tow more than my truck. I think it has 150 Newton meters of torque, or 100, maybe 50 Why foot pound of torque. Why so big? Because that's what they do. 2,500 cc's, bro. That's, that's a bigger <laughs> engine than my Civic. Look at that. They basically copied off the X Diablo. Mm -hmm. This whole design. Except for they, they skimped out how little the wheel is. Is it, is it a lot thinner? It's what size is that? Tiny. Yeah, that looks like maybe a 200 instead of a 240. Still really cool though. Is that a shaft driven too? Damn, I think it is. That's pretty rad. But yeah, they got some Triumphs down here. Uh, they have Tigers, Triumph Tigers for off-roading. And then they even have some Aprilias. So I believe this is the RSV4. Yeah, that's the new RSV4, which is badass. And then they have a new Tuono V4 factory. So if you guys are looking for some cool bikes, come support your local boys. They got some used Harleys in here and uh, tell them I sent you. So I think that's it. We'll go outside and uh, sign this puppy out. Okay, so that's it for this video. It's
it's gonna get dark soon and cold so we're gonna get this puppy home safe and then we're gonna start to go uh, lots more mods all the carbon arrived so we have a ton of stuff that we're gonna start tearing into this bad boy but all the performance mods are done and I'm very very happy with how that turned out so huge shout out to Brent Tuning uh, for sending out all those performance mods it's a night and day difference on this bike it really really is um, it's not just about total horsepower again it picked up 10 but it's that mid-range where you're getting 70 50 40 that's a lot of freaking horsepower gain so um, again huge shout out to uh, Manny from Moto Million for sponsoring this build huge thanks to Yamaha of uh, Camp Hill soon to be Ducati or I should say Warhorse group and uh, don't forget you can enter to win this bike patreon.com slash camp easy custom is always the first link in the description below we're gonna enjoy ourselves a little ride home and we'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>